Hello, welcome to the 18th video tutorial for Slideshow Digital Signage app for Android, in which you will find out how to set up communication between two devices with Slideshow across the internet and use that for light management and monitoring. I have two devices with Slideshow, which will be used at completely separate locations. One tablet for cafe and one box for office. You can see the web interface of Slideshow running on the tablet. I will navigate to menu settings, other devices. Here I will generate a random devices group code, enable device discovery on the internet and copy the generated group code for later. After saving, you can check the status. As this is the first device I am setting up, there are no other found devices in the list yet. This device is now ready and I will move it to the final location in the cafe. I will continue with setting up the second device. You can see its web interface on the screen. On the other devices page, I will paste the group code that was generated on the first device and enable device discovery on the internet as well. After saving, waiting a couple of seconds, and refreshing the page, the first device was automatically discovered and added to the list. I can check what version of Slideshow it's running, its IP address and other details. You can manage playback on both devices at the same time by checking both of them and pressing the buttons underneath. For example, beep for speaker check or go to next media. For full management of the other device, there is a tunnel web interface button. This is available only if the other device is on a different local network. In that case, I don't have direct access to its web interface, so I can use this tunnel button instead. The speed of the tunneled web interface is much lower, but you can still use it for managing the remote device. For example, upload a new file, and delete an old one. That's all for today, thank you for watching. Slideshow app is entirely free and you can download it from website slideshow.digital or through Google Play Store.